Hey guys, this is Anupam again. And from the last few videos, you know, we've been focusing on now Microsoft Fabric or BI. Yeah, some of the users they reached out and said, "Hey, what's going on with the good old Excel?" I personally love Excel as a tool. I think that's the first, uh, you know, billion-dollar app which was created way back around. Uh, I think 40 years ago. Anyhow, uh, there are a lot of users who use Excel along with their SAP, and you know uh, they might want to extract a SAP report, marry it with a table from SAP, and a third-party data source. And uh, the question was, how can we do that uh, from their Excel uh, desktop? So let, we'll, today we'll see how uh, to get a SAP report. Uh, into Excel, how do I pull a table from a CD as well in the same report? Marry the two data and maybe add uh, something from the external data source as well, so that we can you know build a comprehensive. Report. Let's get started. Sharing my screen. We'll go back to our uh, our example of SAP's MB fifty one T code. Uh, um, maybe you know, pull one of the tables which comes along with it. So this is your good old Excel, uh, and within this you will see some familiar uh, terms by now. So first thing it is asking me to do is to to validate with SAP with my user ID and password. So whatever is the security which has been you know, implemented at the SAP system. Is what it will leverage as well, so that you know you don't have to duplicate security. You don't have to worry about if I have uh, access to company code thousand but not two thousand. How will that be maintained? So this is leveraging whatever uh, security mechanisms you already have uh, in your SAP and go and use those. All right. So let's do this first. Let's go ahead. Get data from uh, RM07 docs. That's the MB51 transaction code. So let's walk through the options very quickly. R is the report, and we are saying pull RM07 doc with the variant call USB for SAP1. If you're not familiar, watch a few of my earlier videos to see you know how that is set up. And then you know uh, RM07 docs, as you know by now, is an ALV. And we want to work with the business field like this. Those are the main inputs you will need to tell uh, the SAP system to fetch the data. Uh, there's a few more. Uh, if you want to tinker around, you can. But right now, you know, uh, just leave it as delimited as I format of the data in Excel. And the, uh, there's a web GUI part and the data part. You probably don't need to. Uh, worry about it as long as it is standard in your system and the SAP server. All right, let's use this uh, baseline data and see how we can fetch this report from the SAP system as it goes and is is basically getting all of this uh, information from the SAP uh, to to your Excel. Right now. This data is uh, will match whatever output you would be seeing on your SAP system. There's also a link back to SAP, which it has created in case you wanted to dig deeper into any of the any of the uh, particular records. So you know that's one of the things which uh, users complain about once their data is downloaded in, in Excel, then they are not able to launch back into SAP. Well, no more. Now, as you can see, I am able to directly go into SAP right from my report. Now, uh, this is good, but some of you might be at a stage where you are not just uh, you know getting data from SAP report, but also trying to marry it, let's say, with a, another table. Uh, so, how do we do that? Right. So, let's expand this. Right. 
you see a few more options which pop up now. So let's say I want to get another object. So you, I can at a time I can get up to five objects uh, from SAP and any number of objects from other sources. So it has selected T as tables. So, um, tables of use will be T. And let us say I want to extract LFA1 table, which is the vendor master table. 